Welcome back. Today's video will be covering DraftSite's autosave and backup features. These functions do exactly what their name suggests, systematically saving and protecting your drawings from being lost or deleted. You can adjust your autosave and backup preferences by selecting the options icon in the customization section of the manage tab in the ribbon. This will open an options window where you'll choose system options and then specify autosave and backup. From there, two more tabs will be exposed, labeled Automatic Save File Location and Auto Save slash Backups. When selected, the Automatic Save File Location reveals where your drafts are automatically saved to and allows you to change that location. By simply clicking on the Browse icon, choosing a new file, and pressing Select Folder. Likewise, the Auto Save slash Backups tab displays three options regarding the details of your auto saves. The first is whether or not you want to enable your auto saves, which you should always have checked. And you'll then be able to specify the number of minutes between each auto save. The second setting is Save Backup at each save, which prompts DraftSite to create a backup copy of the previously saved version of your file every time you save your draft. Lastly, the Use Original Format option ensures that your file is always saved to its original file type, rather than DraftSite's latest supported version of that file type. Keep in mind that autosave files use the .ds$ extension, and backup files use the .bak extension. So if disaster strikes, you'll have to rename them to .dwg extensions to reopen them in DraftSite. I hope this post encourages you to take advantage of DraftSite's autosave and backup features. If you're looking to learn more, visit the blog page or visit DraftSite.com.